An Irving man currently living in Ukraine had a scheduled flight out of the region today. Instead, he says he pushed it back several days. Fox Force Peyton Yeager joins us now with more from him and other North Texans with ties to the area. Peyton. Blake, Tom Sanchez of Irving decided to stay a few extra days, and he tells me today he packed a go bag in case he needs to take shelter in Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian community right here in North Texas continues to be anxious. Daria Zalutsky says Sunday morning's message at St. Sophia Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church had an ominous feeling. It's a huge black cloud and we need a collective prayer from everybody that says, please leave our country alone. <laughs> Let it let our country be. Zalutsky sat in the audience worried for what's ahead this week, hoping her homeland is spared. Russian troops circling Ukraine's border continues, now topping 200,000. More troops are, are moving in and and you see more equipment and there's field hospitals and bridges are being built. And, and if all this is just a military exercise, this is some exercise let me tell you over the weekend russia conducted nuclear exercises and at the same time the winter olympics wrapped up if i decide i can get up and leave and there's 45 million people here that can't get up and leave tom sanchez of irving is temporarily living in ukraine's capital kiev taking a language course we spoke to him last week and checked in with him again on sunday last week there was always the maybe it won't happen Sanchez says the tone across the country's capital has changed. While walking the streets over the weekend, Sanchez noticed fewer foreigners. You're, you're bracing for impact at this point. So I, I think that's different. You weren't bracing for impact last week. Even with an unsettling feeling flooding Ukraine's capital, locals continue to live their daily lives. Sanchez extended his stay until Thursday by choice. He was supposed to come home on Sunday. The White House made it clear the time frame for U.S. citizens to leave is closing in, and now it could be too late. Starting Monday, more airlines are set to be suspended out of Ukraine, so in a few days, a way out could be limited for Sanchez. If the scenario that they keep pointing out is 70 percent correct, airplanes won't be flying. I probably will will take an alternate way if I want to get out of here. Sanchez says he still has class tomorrow, and if he wants to leave before Thursday, he came up with a plan, a plan whether that be leaving by train or a rental car, if all of that is possible.